I'm a left tackle? Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Okay, how? Okay, like, hmm. Orlando Brown Jr., Zeus Jr., just tweeted out, I'm a left tackle. I'm sitting here playing my game, chilling. I was like, let me see if the Ravens undid anything. He tweets out, I'm a left tackle. He's gone. Like, I knew he was going to be gone. Because what he, oh, man, what he did this year with moving to the left tackle because Ronnie Stanley got injured for the entire year showed everybody in the league, I can play right tackle, I can play left tackle. And I'm like, okay. EDC, it would be sweet if we kept him, but it's not going to happen with everybody that's due. And then he tweets out, I'm a left tackle. Who on the offensive line gets, I believe, the most money is the left tackle. Then I believe it's the center. But he pretty much said, hey, I'm out. Baltimore has been good. I'm out. And like everything was going good earlier today. He even I even liked his tweet where he um put up or I retweeted a clip of uh Trey Smith, uh offensive lineman, and I'm like, cool, I'm looking at the technique, the dude is good. Then he tweets out I'm a left tackle a couple of hours later. So I'm like we already have offensive line problems. This draft, I know we was going to concentrate on the center. But now, we have to get a replacement for Orlando. Like, I just, oh, man. Oh, man. Just... <laughs> I don't know what to say, yo. This is just crazy. It's crazy. Like, he's gone. Because I see some people like Jason Lockenfora saying he'll play out his his rookie contract. I don't even see that happening, yo. I don't even see like Eric DaCosta. That would be pretty much like a loss, like. You knew you weren't going to sign him and just let him walk. That That's not even, I don't even believe that's Eric DaCosta's style. Sorry, I seen something. Uh, that's Eric, I don't even believe that's Eric DaCosta's style to just let that just go like that. And I'm like, man, I, Trade him. <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that, but it's like, okay, you a left tackle? We have a left tackle already. Paid him very well, and he deserved it. The gentle giant. That's what I was calling him. I know that's, you know, the, the OG left tackle. Ogden, but. Hey, he was big too, and you everybody know Ronnie Stanley is soft spoken. 
even when I seen him playing that FIFA on that YouTube that time. But man, like off season is literally right around the corner. Now Eric DeCosta is gonna work his magic. Because he has to, he's going to make something happen. Like, and the big question too was, you have Mark Andrews contract coming up. You have Lamar contract coming up. Orlando Brown contract coming up. But now, Orlando Brown pretty much, hey, like, hey, trade me because I'm going to ask for some huge money because I'm a left tackle. So that's like, okay. Well, Eric DaCosta already working on Lamar. That's a gimme. So might as well start talking to Mark Andrews. Get that contract going. Sign Lamar. Sign Mark Andrews. Makes it, sign Mark Andrews. Well, he said he's going to be talking to Lamar within like pretty much this week and next week. So... It ain't no telling with that, but man, ah, this trade caught me off guard. And he tweeted this like a couple of hours ago, but this caught me off guard. Dang. Still hoping for the Gus extension. Yeah, He's going to make something happen. Like Eric DeCosta is going to make something happen, but this also worries me because <sighs> it's just like um like in shout out to Engraven. His video I saw with him and Sarah where they you know it's gonna be some casualty cuts around the league and I believe it's gonna be some with offensive linemen so I'm hoping Eric DeCosta can work his magic and then we can get something from that because we need a center. We need a center. Like, that's a gimme. That shows. And when, right, well, now we need a right tackle. It's, we need so much help on that offensive line. And I believe Ronnie Stanley's going to come back. 100% dog. But, you know, they're going to have to gracefully bring them in. That knee injury, that leg injury, and your offensive lineman, your back and your leg and your arms, that's all, you know, getting pressured 24 7. But, man, this is. Let's go. Eric DeCosta, do your thing, man. Do your thing. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Hopefully, we can get, I know I'm being, I'm being really, 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 really high right now, but on what I'm about to say, but early second, maybe first, because you already know what the dude does. That's why I say first, because it's a left tackle now. Those are hard to come by. Look how long it took the Ravens to finally get that certified left tackle. Because after Ogden, Mia personally, he was just wish wash. Like, it was some good ones, some decent ones, but they weren't on that level. Ronnie Stanley, he showed. He went to do with a whole season without a quarterback sack. Do you understand how many plays he done without giving a quarterback sack? Now, we seen some hiccups from Orlando Brown, but he did good. But now he's a left tackle, so that he's gone. Like, it's gone. But first, second. That's what I that's what I believe we might end up getting either a first or a second. Because it ain't no way 
He's going to get like a third rounder or something. And he is a third rounder. But Eric DeCosta, man. But, man, y'all tell me what y'all think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Man. I'm a left tackle.